What's up everyone? Shane here with ROA Off-Road. Today we have a new series that we're making and this is going to be the Mod Squad and we're gonna be bringing out a new video every single week. Obviously, like we're kind of famous or known for doing mods and upgrades to trailers, doing a lot of options. We always wanna make things unique for the end user, the customers, or our roamers. A lot of times I go out and I use the trailer and there's something that I don't like about it or something that I want changed or improved. And usually that actually brings me to you. You wanna introduce yourself and tell us what you do? Hey everyone, I'm David. I'm the service manager out of ROA Utah. I pretty much, to sum it up, I take what Shane envisions and try to make it happen on a trailer. So a lot of that is a lot of research, a lot of coordination with our foreman and some other people on the team and just taking what it's a really good idea, running with it and finding out how to make it work. Lots uh, of R&D, right, that you yeah, do? Mm -hmm. Lots of, and that entails a lot of time and research on your end, oh, yeah. right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people recognize me from phone calls and, and emails. Usually one of the main points of contacts when you go to deposit for your trailer to pick up, but I do a lot of stuff behind the scenes as well, and this is a big one. Yeah, this is the big one. We generally get inspired in two different ways. One, it's usually me or our team internally, right? We're mm -hmm. talking about what are we gonna do or how can we improve this? Or it's not always an improvement. It's not always a mod. I, it's a lot of times mod is like you're changing it because you don't like it, but sometimes right. it's just an option, right? Mm -hmm. Like, for example, toilets. Everybody has an opinion on a different toilet. Right. The other people that generally are pushing changes or options are not just us internally. Mm -hmm. It's also the the roamers and customers. And so, yeah, I would say probably four out of five people that buy a new trailer from us have some sort of new idea that they bring to my plate. And I try to figure out the feasibility of it, see if we can install it and replicate it and just make it OEM or better. So between Shane's ideas and new buyers and, and sometimes old buyers, they come back with ideas once they've used it for a little bit and can kind of narrow down what but really makes it unique for them. Yeah, and I think I think that's what's really cool. And that's something that makes us at ROA different from almost any dealer. I, as you can see, we're at our experience center. We don't even like to call ourselves a dealer mm -hmm. because generally a dealer, your experience is you go there, you choose what you want, you buy it and you just leave. And if you ask the dealer, hey, can you add a solar panel or could you install a generator off grid on board? They're just gonna be like, can I, what? <laughs> you know, like, can you make my air conditioner run off grid? They're gonna be like, get out of here. Like, that's yeah. impossible. A lot of them will just say it's impossible. And of course we know that's ridiculous <laughs> because we've gone out and we've done these things that supposedly are impossible. But that is something that makes us so unique here at ROA is we do listen to our roamers, which are our customers. And we try to make the trailer that they want, the trailer that's uniquely theirs. And I think that's what's really cool about mm -hmm. that. In a normal dealership, I would probably just be concerned on, hey, when you come in to pick up and finishing payment on your trailer. But instead, all that in between is getting to know the person, what they might be using the trailer for, kind of what their experience is, and all that kind of wraps into, okay, I feel like I have a good idea of what you might need based off of your wants and what you want to do with it. So let's see how we can make that happen. Um, and kind of roll with that. Yeah, that's cool. And I think that's kind of like where it started with, with us when we started doing mods and upgrades a long time ago. First and foremost, I'm an off-road camper. And so I love going to Moab and off-roading. And so kind of growing up in Utah in the world where Jeeps, we call them like Legos for grown men, because essentially you can take it apart and put it back together with something different on it. Yep. And they're so customizable, right? Mm -hmm. And so when people would reach out and say, hey, I'm a Jeeper, I go and customize my Jeep like crazy to go off-roading. You guys do off-road trailers. Can you customize those too? Yeah. And we're like, sure, why not? <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> like, sure. And to me, it's like, at the end of the day, it's like, why not? If, if, if we can keep to our standard, which is OEM or better, mm -hmm. and we can make it unique for you, why not? To me, I think it's a win-win for everybody. Oh yeah. And it's something that definitely sets us apart from anybody else in the country. We'll do upgrades options at our Utah Experience Center, our South Carolina Experience Center. Just reach out and ask for a service advisor. You might be lucky enough to get David or one of the other guys and be able to talk some stuff through. But this series is going to be called, what are we calling this? Mod Squad. The Mod Squad, yeah. So we want to take you on this new series, bring you along the journey essentially, and 
the format that we're planning on setting up is kind of like a why, how, and proving format. So I'm gonna start with the why, because I'm out camping and I'm gonna come back and be like, I don't like this, or maybe this is okay, but I would prefer something different. So this is the why, you know, perhaps the stabilizer jacks, for example, I want something that's stronger that can lift the trailer up. So that becomes the why, you know, why I want it. And then I'm gonna come to you and you're gonna do the how. Yep, I'll discuss the how to, basically how we implement Shane's ideas, some of our roamers ideas into reality, making them, like I said before, OEM or better. And then after that, once they're installed, we'll talk about the specs. And since we have people coming from all over the country, we wanna ensure that when you option something for your trailer, you feel confident in what you're getting, you're able to see it at least, and, and hear about everything that comes with it. And I think one of the reasons why we wanna do a little bit of the how is, you know, also for those <laughs> DIYers that want to do it themselves, they have yeah. the ability, right? You'll mm -hmm. be able to share it. But then after that, once he's done explaining to you how to do it, I'm going to then go in and prove it and go through it and test it out, showcase what it is. And so you'll have that before and the reasons why we wanted to do it. You'll have the how to, and then we'll have the, this is the finished product. This is how it works and kind of showcase what it is that we did. And I think this is going to be a massive value to not just the people that are buying trailers from us, but anybody that buys an off-road trailer, they'll be able to take these mods and do it themselves or these upgrades or options. Even uh, be inspired and maybe take it their own direction. Yeah, exactly. And we're always, we'll try to give the shout out to any of the roamers that have inspired some of these mods because it's always about the whole entire community. It's for the entire off-road community. We're all kind of getting inspired by each other and learning and growing from different people. So we want to take you on the series and we want to essentially make these trailers roamer ready. Yep. Should we get going on this and start the series? Let's do it. Mm -hmm.